Hello guys, today in this video I want to quickly show you how I sometimes use Cloud Code Web on my mobile phone for quick ideas. So what I used to do in the past, when I have some idea for a feature or for small change, I make a note in Todoist or Obsidian and then the next day or next time I'm at computer then I implement that. So not anymore. Yesterday before sleep I decided to make a quick change. You can see in the screenshot 2301 is the time. So I recently launched a project called codingsnacks.com for quick tips and I decided to change the text on the home page. So this is the home page and I decided to remove this too long line of text in my opinion. So I went to the URL cloud.ai slash code in my Chrome browser on my mobile and typed the prompt. Of course, I needed to sign in to GitHub and assign the repository. And then I made a bunch of screenshots to show it to you guys what happens next, actually. And also I will show you one feature of GitHub Actions and Laravel framework specifically, which allows this procedure to happen pretty smoothly and pretty reliably for small tasks. So let me show how it works. So when I hit to run the prompt, this happens. Usual typical thing like we would do in Cloud Code Terminal, it starts working on the prompt. So this happens next. Again, usual thing, editing something, then the session goes on, it reads the files, then edits the files with one fundamental difference. See that home user coding snacks. So it creates a virtual environment somewhere in the cloud, I don't even know where, and then makes the changes. And that virtual environment is really important because it's really limited. So by default, that environment doesn't have PHP, SQLite, all the other stuff, so Cloud Code Web doesn't automatically run tests and if it tries it usually fails so this is a limitation but i will show you in a minute how i overcome this so after it made the change it pushes the change to github to a branch and then it shows done i remove the text and then there's a link create pull request which leads me to this open a pull request and from here on my mobile i can read the automatically set title and description and see the changes as well so if I scroll down, I see this committed by Claude, authored by Claude, and what was actually changed. And then if I create that pull request, this is what happens automatically, and this is the main thing. So inside of Laravel default framework, there are various GitHub actions already set up. So here's the default skeleton of Laravel Laravel, which contains .github workflows, including tests. For example, automated tests, the GitHub action procedure which has PHP artisan test at the bottom. So without me configuring anything manually, automatically it checks the linters and runs automated tests. Which means if the tests fail, then that pull request by Cloud Code Web contains something inappropriate and then I would need to continue the next morning. But if the tests pass and I view the code and if it's a simple change viewable from my mobile, possible to review, then I can just merge. So this is how it looks when one of the checks is in progress. And this is how it looks when all checks have passed. I may merge or I may wait until next time when I'm at the computer. It depends on the deployment cycle. In my case, it was automatically done with Laravel Forge. So when I merge, it automatically deploys to the server, but it's a small project. So I'm kind of fine with that. It's more like an experiment, not a client work. So again, it depends on your scenario. But in my case, for my small text change, I decided to merge right away. And this is how it looks. And then I can just delete the branch of Cloud Remove Homepage tagline. And then, yeah, the result of all of that was shorter text on the homepage. So this small text change, what I wanted to show you is the possibility of using Cloud Code Web with small, simple ideas, even if you're not at the computer. If you have GitHub Actions set up with automated checks, like automated tests or something else on top, that may be enough of a validation for you to decide to merge the code right away. Of course, again, it depends on your risk factors and what was the actual change and its impact. So what do you guys think? Are you using Cloud Code Web on mobile when away from your computer? Is it a typical thing or is it too vibe coding? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.